Nobody should be under any illusion at all. This is something we deal with regularly in this country. We've lived with the threat of terrorism all my adult life. We have enormous experience dealing with it. We dealt with a very considerable threat very successfully over last summer's games. We have some of the very best, if not the best, security services in the world to protect people. And we will do absolutely everything that's necessary to keep people safe and secure. Uh, to people who are worried, they're having second thoughts, you know what this means to people. They've got, they've got someone in their family maybe running for a, for a fantastic cause. Um, it means a lot to people. They want to turn out. The, the runners thrive on the support that they get from spectators. But can you, can you honestly say to people, come out, we can guarantee your safety? Or would you deter people? Would you ask them to think, think twice, uh, particularly this year, about supporting the marathon? No, I absolutely wouldn't ask people to think twice. I think, broadly speaking, there would be two, two reasons for, for any sort of cancel, cancellation or postponement. Um, the first would be as a mark of respect. The second would be for security concerns. As far as the second is concerned, we will do everything that is required to keep that event safe and secure. And as I say, that's not a sort of empty promise. We do this, and the police in London do this on an almost daily basis. You know, they've got a big funeral on Wednesday. They've got the marathon on Saturday. We've got all the experience that's accumulated from having done the Olympics and the Paralympics last year. This is not a situation that's new to us. We know what we're doing. Uh, as far as a, a mark of respect is concerned, I think the very best way to show solidarity with Boston is to get out there on the streets of London to cheer the runners on and to show that we won't be defeated by this sort of activity. And Minister, does this uh, feature on your working agenda any time today? I mean, would you, would you expect a, a ministerial meeting or a cabinet meeting or anything to, to discuss uh, particularly tomorrow's big event? And then, of course, we've got what's happening on Sunday. I mean, the first, uh, the first job of government uh, in any situation like this is the safety and security of its people. It was absolutely something we dealt with all last summer. It is something we live with on a daily basis, uh, and we will do everything that's required. I don't particularly want to go into the details for obvious reasons, but we will do everything that's required to keep this event safe and secure. Um, would you expect numbers at both those um, ceremonies, both those, both those events, the funeral tomorrow and the spectators for Sunday, would you expect those to be affected because of what has happened in Boston? I very much hope not, and I suspect the great British spirit of re resilience will ensure that that is not the case. Uh, I would absolutely encourage people to show solidarity with Boston by getting out on the streets, by celebrating the London Marathon, by doing what the London Marathon does very well, which is provides a fantastic day out and raises literally millions of pounds for charity. Uh, that's the way, I think, the best way to send a message to those responsible for the dreadful uh events of yesterday.